Hey, can I have a look? Yeah, sure. Come have a squeeze. Wow, that's amazing. I know, right? You may have seen GPR out on site before, but what are the guys looking at when they're finding underground utilities? Wouldn't it be that nice if you rolled up the GPR and what you saw was underground pipes and cables, just like you'd see in a picture or Google image? To be honest, utilities do not look like images of actual pipe or anything like that. At the moment, when scanning in 2D, we don't see any real life pictures of pipes at all. What we see is data and series of points which forms shapes and patterns which when interpreted by the trained eye helps us determine where buried utilities are underground. We made a video of how it works and you can view this up here. Basically, we're firing energy in the form of radio waves into the ground as we push the GPR in the direction of the data acquisition setup. As the energy hits targets underground, we are able to map these points at set intervals as they reflect over different objects. In the case of SUI and utility surveys, pipes and cables are generally round in nature and produce a hyperbola. Hyperbola, however you like to say it. Ground penetrating radar displays hyperbolas in its radar grams due to the way that electromagnetic waves interact with round pipes. The waves we pulse into the ground radiate outwards in a cone-shaped direction. As the waves encounter subsurface features with different electrical properties, such as the boundary between soil and a buried pipe, part of the wave energy is reflected back up towards the GPR antenna. The reflected waves are received by the antenna and recorded as data. The time it takes for the reflected wave to return to the antenna is related to the distance between the antenna and the subsurface utility. And this time is used to calculate the depth of the feature. However, since the waves travel through the subsurface at different angles, the reflected waves arrive at different times depending on the angle of incidence. This results in the production of hyperbolas displayed by the GPR. A hyperbola is a curve that represents the path of the wavefront traveling through a medium with varying velocity. The apex of the hyperbola represents the location of when the GPR antenna has hit the center of the pipe. And the tails of the hyperbola represent the reflected waves that arrive at different times due to the different angles. GPR data is fairly easy to interpret. You just need to know what you're doing. Or an experienced GPR operator who's familiar with the characteristics of different subsurface materials and features. I hope all that made sense with what utilities look like when found with GPR. If you would like further information, leave a comment below and we'll answer these in our upcoming videos. As usual, if this video was helpful, hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate everyone's support with our brand new channel. I hope you enjoy what's coming up next.